Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu This ayah in Surah Al-Baqarah 
Allah summarized all the transitions of mankind in one ayah. But Allah said the ayah, how you can say to Allah, no. How you can say to Allah, I cannot follow your role. And how you can be disbelieved to the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's a big question. Then, what human being? When we get to money rich, we start to forget about ourselves. Because we follow the sweetness of this life. Allah wants to turn you back. To know yourself. Where you come from. Who are you? Then you will know how to go. He's telling us, فَلْيَنْزُرُ الْإِنْسَانُ مِمَّا خُلِكَ before to explain this ayah, Allah says, Quantum Amwata, you were death. After the question, Allah said, You were death. Someone can ask himself, How come? Allah is explained to you in another ayah. Say, Hal ata alal insanu himun min addaha lam yakun shi an mazkura. Allah is telling you that a time passed on you lam yakun, you was not shi an mazkura. Nobody knows about you. Even your parents don't know you are coming or not. Nobody knows about him. Let me open shade and mascara. No. Then Allah created us. He said, Fal yam zuril in sana mi bahulik. And my kind should know how he was created. If you are coming this time, grow up. With the blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and you will stand saying, Why Allah is telling us this? Don't you know the time change? Don't you know about the power? Because you forget about yourself. That's why Allah is saying, Find me on Zuri in San Bima, who will come in my in the Africa. You are strong, rich, powerful. Allah is telling you, who was created from what? Who you can be man in traffic? From your drops of money. He was created from that. Yahrudim in bain a soul be what parai. Allah is telling you a story. Yahrudim in bain a soul be what parai. You came from where? From the backbone of the man. And the ribs of the women. This is where some come from the back of the men, and other come from the between the ribs of the women. Then what Allah will do? Inna khalakna asada in its fashion amsha jin abtali. Come from here, from here, then it will be mixed. Then it will be mixed. When it's mixed, then Allah will take it ila karari maki. Some safe place, which is the wall of the ladies. Then what will happen? Allah says in Surah Al-Ibar, one lady is a will of the Arham who came by Yasha. He is the one who designed you, created you inside, came by Yasha. How he like it? Nobody is there. It's clear. No doctor, your parent, not, nobody has to interfere on that one. One lady is a will of the Arham who came by Yasha. 
لا اله الا هو العظيم الحكيم. He is in love. Know that. And after all, then what will happen now? Istari lo, Allah wa khraja kum in putuan wa mahati kum. After everything inside, Allah is telling you, Allah wa khraja kum in putuan wa mahati kum. It's only Allah. Not only the power of you, or the power of the parent, or the power of the doctors, no. You have the technology, how to take the children, but the natural one. Imagine where the child are coming from. If not the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, nothing can come from that. That's why I said, you know, Allah wa min butuan wa bahadik la ta'ala muna shaya. It lets you to go out and you don't know nothing. Then, like a Kharakna in Sanafi Kabat. The second transmission towards the inside, the room will come. After, now we are in this world. Allah is telling you, like a Kharakna in Sanafi Kabat. We have created mankind to face what? The hardship in this life. When we come to this side, this is where the problem is. Not knowing. Allah created Allah for some purpose. That's why he's asking us. أَفَحَسِبْتُمْ أَنَّا مَا خَلَقْنَاكُمْ أَبَطَانْ وَأَنَّكُمْ إِلَيْنَا لَا تُرْجَعُ Are you thinking? I just create you and been into this life for just nothing? Just come and play and enjoy and go? No, there are targets. There are purposes. Why you are in this life? Allah is telling you, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِذَا يَعْبُدُونَ Created mankind and gene for what? Illa ibada. Only close. There is nothing else except that to Al ibada. To worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you didn't worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not only just ibada, salat, zakat, but all your life is ibada. That's why the Sahabi. They ask us, well, salatu was salam. Even going to our wife, we get agent? He say yes. It's ibadah. If you do it the proper way. So it means any kind of action for mankind in this life, it is ibadah for you. If you are following the sunnah, then Allah, the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you will make the opposite, of course, you get the sense. Then, really, those trans to explain those transition they play it will take a lot of time to make it short. How are this trans after this transition? What Allah said, "Kefa tafuruna bila, ramuntu mahamwata fa ahiyako this life, summa yometeko." After this life, when we go, we will die. You go to the cover. And after that, Sumahayako, he will give us life this for you, Malachia. Where the Hisab is there. To be succeeding over there, you should prepare from here. That's what Allah said, Inna Rabbaka la bin Mirsat. Do whatever you want to do in this life. But Allah is waiting for you in the corner. It's not rational. What you want, Allah give you. But He showed you the way to ways. In my shakir, al kafura. He showed you, teach you the right way. On the other hand, it's in your hands now to select what you want. 
Why Allah make all of those things for us? Allah don't want someone will come you over in Akhara saying to Allah, I don't know, you didn't think much, you didn't send the message to us. No, that's why. That's why Islam Salam said, any child that is coming to this world, you will have to Allah Fitrah. It's coming based on what Allah demand. So the parent will change. Take this one and go to this side. So Yom al Akhirah, there is no excuse for the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But all is clear in the Quran and the Quran. Then, in the Baqarah bin Mirsat, when the Malak al Maut will knock your door and then you will leave, then Allah says, waiting for you there. They did. Your lovely person, people, brothers, will take you to him. From there, the Hisar will start. No, the Akhirah. It starts when they put in the cup. That's what Allah said. Ya Yon Levina, Amon of Takula, Wal Tanzur Nafsul Makin Tamati Alati. Allah is calling the believer. Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In another ayah, اتقوا الله حقا تقاته. Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala truly. Not one leg inside and one leg is outside. It will never benefit you. Then, the first ayah, Well, comes to nafsu ma kete mat lehati. Any soul should check what he prepared for tomorrow. As Allah knows, tomorrow it will not be easy. To be successful over there, we should prepare from this life. So those are the four transitions of mankind. That Allah said, كَيْفَ تَفْرُونَ بِاللَّهِ وَقُنْتُ مَمْوَاتًا He was blessed. أَحْيَاكُمْ He gave you life. Summa you may take off. He will make you, take you back at death. Summa أَحْيَاكُمْ Then He will give you life again. Summa إِلَيْهِ we will go back to him and the judgment we start over there. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make those transitions easy for us to be succeed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as he said in the Quran and the Quran inna iddata shuhuri tallah is nashar shara one year it has a 12 month in the center of Allah since he created a book since he created the earth and heaven in the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and among those 12 Allah selected those 4 months to be as a separate mom. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam explained it to us in hadith that he said, Talatatun mutawaliyat, three are following, which is Zulqa'ada, Dulhija, Muharram. Then, Rajab al-Mudam. And that Rajab is this month. It's separate mom. And Allah is telling us, فَلَا تَظْلِمُوا فِيهِنَّ أَنفُسَقُوا during those sacred months, do not wrong yourself. Do not do bad things during those months. It doesn't mean the other month is allowing to you to do whatever you like it. No. You should respect that month. And we are in Raja. Don't let this Raja will go out without any change to your life. We should respect. Because if, as Muslim, we did not respect those men, who will be respect? And other Muslim, they don't know about it. And we Muslim, we know about it, we don't respect. So who is going to respect it? Nobody in this life. It is our duty to know about those men, to respect, 
and teach our children to know about it. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us more iman and more taqwa. So Rabbana atina fi dunya hasanatan wa fi akhirati hasanatan wa fi nazaba na Rabbana la tuzi kulubana ba'da zahirika na wa hawla na na dunka rahmatan inna ta'ata al waha Allahumma izzal islam wa al muslimin wa dhim da shirka wa al mushrikin wa dhim mila adati ya hamar rahimi Allahumma tahir kulubana min al nifaq wa amalina min al riyah wa al sinatina min al kazib يا رحم الرحيم ثم الصلاة والسلام على شرف الخلق محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وعليكم السلام